Now that Cortana will be micromanaging your day, you might have missed the drone dropping insects to fight disease, CERN's big restart, and the mythical being I always knew existed. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where dino nerds will want to know that mapping the biggest dinosaur's evolution lets scientists see how sauropods changed over time. Before the rendering, it was more theoretical. No brainer, guys. They got bigger because you gotta be huge to battle Jurassic Park style. On the much more dreamy extinct animal side, every girl grows up thinking magical unicorns might exist until they're sucked dry by Voldemort. Not cool, Tom Riddle. Now we think these elegant, awe-inspiring creatures really were on the planet alongside humans, which would explain their prevalence in countless pieces of writing and art, except apparently they really looked like this. Or this. Not as beautiful as we'd all believed, but the Siberian unicorn walked the Earth 29,000 years ago, along with prehistoric humans. CERN is ready to party. Yay! Now that the Large Hadron Collider is back online for the first test run of spring. It's been down since last year to give the world's largest particle accelerator a mega power boost, doubling its output from 6.5 teravolts to 13. That should give scientists all the atom-smashing data they've been craving. It'll take about a month to fully bring the accelerator out of hibernation and ensure that its various beam, detection, and safety systems are all working. The LHC is scheduled to fully let her rip in June. Ethiopia has had it with the sleeping sickness, which can eventually kill people if untreated. The innocent looking Tsetse fly has plagued the nation with disease pretty much forever, but no more. The International Atomic Energy Agency is helping the country by releasing swarms of sterile male Tsetse flies from unmanned drones. The insects then blend in and mate with the natives, but produce no offspring because science. Also, the drone is flying autonomously and can stay up for two hours at a time. Fly well, everything with wings. And finally, you probably knew vertical farming for microgreens and the like is a thing because it uses fewer resources than traditional farming. However, in Berlin, they're straight moving the setup into grocery stores. And that's fresh. 